For the following exercises, find functions f of x and g of x so the given function can be expressed as f of x equals f of g of x. Okay, so now they gave us the end composite function and we have to find the individual parts. Super cool, super exciting. This is basically like a puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to just write down here, they want f of x sorry, h of x equals f of g of x. Now, remember with composite functions, we always work from inner to outer function. So just label down here, what is the inner function? The g of x function is the inner function, and that is meshed inside of the f of x function. That's the outer function. When you're trying to you know, make your function so that you get your composite functions, it's always easiest to work from inner to outer. Okay, now since we have to, you know, get the pieces of the puzzle, here is a quick tip. You're going to find the piece of the function that looks like it was placed into a bigger function. You're going to look out for exponents and radicals. Okay, so for the first one, I have to find out what f of x was and what g of x was. Always work from inner to outer and make sure that you can decipher what is inside, keyword inside, something else. So for here, it was 4 divided by x plus 2 squared. Hmm, it looks like this x plus 2 is surrounded by these parentheses raised to the second. Hmm, it looks like this is inside, keyword, this raised to the second. Oh, inside, inner, tomato, tomato. What do you think the inner function was? And the inner function here, they want g of x. The inner function is x plus 2 because that's trapped. Stuff that is trapped between parentheses or square roots or cubed groups, that's always going to be your inner function. That's the hardest part. Now comes the easy part. For the outer function, which they wanted as f of x, all you got to do is just rewrite the main function. So I'm just going to do that for you guys here. And in your mind, I mean, you don't really have to do this on paper, but maybe starting off, you might want to. But what you're doing is you're going to erase everything that you stated that was the inner function. So that's why I erased everything in here. And you just replace it as an X or the letter that, you know, they give you. So if they give you like a T, you got to put a T down here. The letters have to match. And now all you got to do is just clean it up. So F of X was 4 over x squared. I don't need parentheses if I'm just going to say x. And those are your two functions. So the inside function was g of x, x plus 2, and the outer function was 4 divided by x squared. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? So always think of what is inside or trapped inside something. Okay, so now moving on to the second one h of x equals 4 plus the cubed root of x. Hmm, I don't really see anything really trapped or inside of parentheses, so that's not really going to help us. However, I see two distinct entities. I have a 4 plus something else that has a variable in it, right? An x. Oh, maybe I can, you know turn that into an outer function. I can say that this whole thing was the inner function that was placed inside of the bigger function. So let's see. g of x would equal, I'm going to say that the inner function here is the cubed root of x. Now, for the outer function, all you got to do is just mentally, I'm going to write it down, but mentally erase what you said was the g of x and just represent it as just an x value. So here, it was 4 plus the cube root of x, but erase what you just said was your 
inner function and put an X there. There you go. Clean it up. I mean, this is pretty nice and standard. 4 plus X. And those are your two functions. So sometimes you'll use your inside notation and what we did when we did this one, but sometimes you could split up the function in two different things. Okay, let's go to the last but not least. Let's see. Okay, this one is just the cube root of 1 over 2x minus 3. Hmm. Well, there's nothing after this, right? It's not like plus 2 or plus 3. So I can't make this whole thing being x. But is there anything trapped inside of something else? It looks like this whole fraction, right? The 1 divided by the 2x minus 3 is inside the cubed root. You see how this whole thing is trapped underneath the cubed root? So if that's inside, that's the inner function. So g of x would be 1 divided by 2x minus 3. Now all we got to do is just make the outer function. So remember, just rewrite it or, you know, mentally rewrite it and then just get rid of what you said was the inner function and just label it as x. So, okay, all this was the inner function. I get rid of it and it's just an x. And that's that. I mean, I can't really clean this up, right? Because it's all the same. So I'll just make it a little more pretty. And I'll put an equal sign here. Whoop. Let me just make it a, the same color. Okay, so this is equal to the cube root of x. And that's it. So here are your two functions. Once you guys get more practice with this, I mean, you guys are going to be great. I promise you. But practice, 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 especially for math. But I'll be here every step of the way, all right? So here are all the answers for these. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Uh, give this video a, a like if you, you know, if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be the first to know when we drop new videos out. Uh, and, you know, we appreciate your support. We love talking to you guys. So have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. You got this, all right? And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.